Welcome back. You're watching Fight Back. Has your car manufacturer sold you a defective car and failed to replace it? Then here is some respite for you. In a recent judgment, the Apex Consumer Commission has pulled up Maruti Suzuki for selling a defective car to one of its customers and directed it to compensate up to 3 lakh rupees. Mahesh Chitnas has this report. Mangalore resident Pravin Chandrasheti had purchased a Maruti Wagonar from Mandovi Motors for 3,73,364 rupees on 29th March 2003. His car was covered by warranty for 24 months or 40,000 kilometers, whichever occurs first. The complainant alleges that since the date of purchase, an abnormal vibration occurred while driving the car between the speed of 40 to 80 kilometers per hour. The complainant further claims that he took the vehicle to the service centre several times. He claims that the company did replace several parts but failed to rectify the defect. Maruti Suzuki in its defence argued that the complaint related to abnormal vibration of the vehicle could not be classified as a manufacturing defect. Maruti Suzuki further argued that as the vehicle had already run about 1,24,000 km since purchase, it would be wrong to presume that there was any manufacturing defect. Maruti Suzuki also contended that the defect of vibration was first recorded on 14 September 2004 and it was attended by the dealer immediately. Maruti Suzuki further argued that the dealer had also taken a trial of the vehicle and the vibration was found in the line with other Wagonar vehicles. The district forum, after taking into account evidences provided by both the parties, directed Maruti Suzuki to replace the car and also ordered the company to pay 17,000 rupees as compensation and litigation cost. The state commission also upheld district forum's order and dismissed Maruti Suzuki's appeals. Aggrieved by the state commission's order, Maruti Suzuki then approached the Apex Consumer Court. The National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission observed that the complainant had taken his vehicle to the service centre numerous times and most of the times the parts were replaced. The Apex Court agreed that the vehicle had several defects. The Commission further observed and I quote, It becomes crystal clear that the complainant has undergone a lot of mental harassment and agony amounting to torture because of the defects in the vehicle. There cannot be a case of bigger mental harassment than to carry the vehicle for repairs to the workshop so many times and still the problem remaining unsolved. End of quote. The Apex Consumer Commission also observed that the complainant has been agitating the matter in consumer courts for the last eight years and was yet to get the requisite compensation. The Commission noted that the complainant deserved a handsome compensation. The National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission then ordered Maruti Suzuki to pay up 3 lakh rupees within 30 days from the date of order. Moving on, let us now redress some of your grievances. Umesh joins us on the phone line from Mumbai. Umesh has a complaint against InSwift Laboratories. Tell us, Umesh, what's the problem you had? Uh, we had an FD in InSwift Laboratories of rupees 4 lakh. The FD was started in 2011. So 2011, 12 and 12, 12, 13, they gave us the interest payment regularly. From April 13, they stopped giving interest checks. So we, we visited their Bombay office, but they say that the FD department is only in Chandigarh. So you have to visit Chandigarh only. And all the phone numbers of Chandigarh, which was mentioned in the site of the company, were wrong. Some phone was, nobody was picking up. Did the company get back to you after you wrote to fight back? And within seven days, they uh, solved our problems and uh, we got the check of our interest immediately. We thank you very much to Bloomberg TV. All right, we are glad that we could help you. Let's also listen into what the company had to say in response to your complaint. In response to fight back, in Swift Laboratory says, and I quote, the interest warrant against the fixed deposit receipt has already been sent and delivered to the party on 2nd August 2013. End of quote. Bosco has sent us this email from Pune. He alleges that Airtel unduly charged him for using internet services. In an email to fight back, Bosco claims to have purchased a SIM card from Airtel on 23rd of March. Bosco also claims to have requested the company officials to activate a 650 rupees 3G internet plan. 
He further claims that the company officials assured that the service will be activated within 48 hours. Bosco also claims to have received the bill of 1,300 rupees. He alleges that Airtel did not activate the internet plan. Bosco further alleges that Airtel charged him for internet usage till 7th of April. He also claims that he contacted Airtel officials several times but to no avail. Bosco claims to have paid the bill and requested Airtel to discontinue the connection. In response to fight back, Airtel says and I quote, A resolution has been arrived at and we have closed the case to the satisfaction of the customer. End of quote. With that, it's time to wrap up this edition of Fight Back. We will continue to protect your rights as a consumer and keep a vigil on those who pose a threat to your money. We will return same time next week because the truth must be told. If you want to register your complaint with us, call us on 022-4098-7444. You can also email us at fightback at btvin.com or follow us on Twitter at fightbackbtv. You can also SMS us. Just type FB space with your complaint in the message box and send it to 977 327 We will help you fight back.